Five minutes to the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Turney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Bernanke, I want to discuss, if I can for a second, it's just another way that public money seemed to have flowed to some of these financial institutions. Uh, back in March of 2009, AIG uh, disclosed the, uh, the name of certain of the counterparties, people that they had credit default swap agreements with, and uh, Bank of America was among them as, as well as others. It, it appears from our records here that, that there were losses in the so-called super senior multi-sector credit default swaps, the portfolio that AIG had, uh, and that it created a liquidity problem. They had obligations that if there were problems in that portfolio, they had to put more cash in or more collateral security for their obligation. The Federal Reserve Board of New York then provided $85 billion in a loan to AIG. The testimony here was that then that money uh, was used to buy out the contracts and cancel them. That's how they took care of that obligation. But what was of concern to, to me and some others was that the counterparties appeared to have received 100 percent of that, even though uh, testimony from people at AIG before this committee said that they thought uh, that there were a lot of contentious reasons to think that they did not owe 100 percent if they owed anything at all uh, on those particular obligations, that there have been serious negotiations uh, about whether they should pay anything to these counterparties, and then if they should pay something, how much uh, less than 100 percent they should pay. When we pressed Mr. Liddy, AIG, for background on that, for just how the negotiations went, why it is they paid 100 percent, his comment was that he was the wrong person to talk to, that in fact the Fed uh, had all of those uh, p documents and paperwork because they in fact struck the deal. Uh, so my question to you is, uh, why was 100 percent paid on these various obligations, including the one to Bank of America, and, uh, and what was the rationale there? Why weren't the interest of the, the public money uh, interest uh, protected so that there was a better negotiation than just forking over 100 percent? So I don't see on what basis that less than 100 percent could have been paid. They were contractual obligations. Um, failure to pay them would have allowed the creditors to force bankruptcy, which is exactly what we were trying to avoid. This is precisely why we need a resolution regime, which would allow the resolver to haircut creditors and to abrogate existing contracts. But under current law, you can't avoid bankruptcy without paying off the existing contracts. Well, except that the, the people that were running uh, AIG said that they thought that there were certainly issues involved in that, that they didn't owe the money under the contracts, that default may not have occurred, or if it had occurred, it didn't obligate them to pay a full amount. These people that were running the company, that had made the contracts, that felt very strongly. They'd been negotiating on these for a period of time and apparently thought that they could have uh, struck deals that would have not obligated 100 percent. These are contractual issues. Uh, so, you know, it could have been done, and yet once they turned that matter over to the Fed, the Fed uh, and their uh, inferences were they just rolled over and, and gave 100 percent to uh, Bank of America, Citibank, other people, and it looks to others from the outside that we were trying to make those people healthy uh, unquestionably by taking public money and putting it in their coffers by folding on that deal. Uh, so my question to you is, uh, will you produce to this committee uh, copies of all the credit derivative contracts that AIG Financial Products Corporation had with those third party uh, counterparties, including all the details of the terms and conditions of the contracts, all documents and correspondence regarding the creation of Maiden Lane 3, uh, the special purpose vehicle that was created by the Fed to, to do these transactions, uh, and including the negotiations uh, that went on for that, and, and then all documents and correspondence concerning the management and oversight of Maiden Lane uh, uh, Trust, so that we can get a look at those documents and uh, make an assessment on that. I think we've just, uh, in our recent release, I think we just released a whole set of documents related to those issues, but if you to have specific, specific, we just created a monthly publication that provides a lot of information about the maiden lanes, for example. Um, if you would send us a letter with specific requests, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what's available. We certainly will. Uh, well, you say you see what's available. I mean, we want everything that's available. And the question to you is, when we make that request, will you provide it? If, it, um, if I'm able to do so, I will. Thank you. Yield back, Mr. Chairman. Very much. Um, I now yield 